I guess for all this time I knew I was in control, I was losing touch And now I guess the only thing to do Is to sell my soul and it was sell for much I can't believe for all this time I knew I was in control, I was losing touch And yeah, I guess the only thing to do Is to sell my soul And watch it go like
give us a few clean laps to get our fuel numbers. Is this better? Can you hear me now? Check, check, check. Is this the right microphone? JJ, what's up? Is this the right microphone? Check, check, check. There we go. Is it sounding good? Or is it wrong mic?
Check, checkity, check, check, checkity, check. Did that do it? Checkity, check. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. I so uh, I've got my mic. It's a USB mic. It's going through like a split. It's not a splitter, but it's through like a USB extension. I think that's part of the problem. I think I need to move it over to my um, USB hub officially. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, now I've got so much time to practice. I've got 25 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. Classic. Hello. Hello. I'm doing good today. How are you guys doing? I swear I'm doing very good. This is kind of a rad, uh, this is kind of a rad car. I, I've been kind of, um, I've been kind of, uh, prejudiced against it. Stanley, I've got a, are you still there, Stanley? I have a question for you, actually. Where's this red line? 8600. I kind of, I kind of modified my, uh, dashboard a little bit. Dude, this car sounds amazing now. Ooh, babe, I love the way it sounds. Check, 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 check. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right, we're going to go up to five here. And then are we bapping or are we just cutting? I'll have to check that out on the hot lap. Okay. This is my first lap around here in this car. Just mind you. First lap around. This is literally my first lap. Okay. Oh, that's supposed to be a fourth gear. That's right. I remember now. Okay, fourth gear, and then down here at the uh, the curb, I'm supposed to break. That's right. Okay. Okay. Then hug left. Uh, doing great. Back to full flow work. Nice, dude. I know. I've been wondering where you. you I figured my wife and I have been talking, and we were kind of assuming that everybody's kind of like, kind of just getting back into the flow of of work and stuff, you know? Oh, uh, do I want to fall uh, flat out there? Yeah, I think I do. And then you go down here. And then I think I'm supposed to, I mm, have to watch that beginning part again. So I got, I applied to uh, be on a team, uh, Delta Sport, um, with Sean Campbell, and um, very interesting stuff. Okay, a little too much on that. Probably that before I go into the turn, and then breaking down first gear here. There we go. And this is the fourth year at the line. Uh, I wonder if I'm supposed to go probably rev out four and then back in early and then break here. Down to first gear cut. New GPU cranking. Nice, dude. Down here at first. I need to experience. Okay, I, I need to do experience where the, it's going to lock up. Uh, you doing the 24? No, I'm not. No, when's it start? I thought it already started. Are you talking about Daytona 24? No, we can't. We can't do stuff like that quite yet. Ooh, I like that. The way the the times look there. They showed up for a second. I just changed my. I I made this dashboard myself from the other dashboard, and it's so nice. I'm learning SimHub like dashboard editor, and it's fun. It's hard at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's super cool. Next week. Oh, it's next week? Oh, the, the Daytona 24 is next week? I didn't realize it was all the way next week. How far can I carry out there? Not too bad. All right, 20 minutes to dial this in. Five. I'm going to have to look at the pedal work for that. And then down to first gear, cutting in. A little, a little squirrely, a little squirrely. Uh, this week is, oh, RF2. Yeah, dude, RF2. Oh, 
RF2 is looking really good. RF2 is looking really good. I can't even believe how good that game looks, actually. It looks so good. I'm like, dang. Like, no wonder Motorsport Games got the IndyCar license. This game looks incredible. <laughs> like, the, 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 like, the Verstappen's running? Okay. You're talking about uh, the RF2 one? I think he's uh, doing that one, right? It's interesting. It's interesting. Just got to vibe it out here a little bit. I don't know why the the time only like pops up for a second on my my dashboard. <laughs> uh, he is in the he is Levans. Yeah. Okay. Is he on um, red line one or two? I heard, I saw there's some there's some question about that. It could probably break a little later. It feels like. got a great like um, mid corner rotation though it's beautiful and I'm supposed to break there probably at the compression or at the top of the crest I feel like it's probably at the crest or like right before the crest maybe well he owns red line so probably <laughs> the team he won yeah well you know he's been getting beat you know the last few times he ain't the young spry driver he once was, I think. I think he's, uh, I think he lost to James Baldwin, didn't he, on the last one? I think he lost to James. How are you liking the, um, do you like the more streamlined uh, overlay, uh, Jay, as well? I kind of, I've been kind of streamlining it. Like I combined a bunch of stuff. In fact, I can even take off the fuel one above. I can take off the fuel one. I just wanted to, yeah, I think so. I'm kind of like merging it all like manually into this like dashboard below. Ooh, that's okay. So that's a little late. I think I need to break in between those lines. He will get back. He was busy being the F1 world champ. <laughs> yeah, right. But he's just, he's washed up. <laughs> He's just washed up, Jay, obviously. Just kidding. He's going to be a... I'm sure he'll be a dominant force in sim racing for a long time. For at least as old as we are, <laughs> I would imagine. Okay. So that's feeling better. And then break here. Okay, beautiful. It's coming together now. I don't have to worry so much about throttle with this car. Oh, versus the uh, LMDH. I think I just stop. I, mean, I think I'm going to stop doing the LMDH because uh, I need to break just a half a line sooner as well. As well, there, half a line sooner. We'll just do a half a line sooner on those two problem areas. Uh, less is more for me, so the less you have, the more immersive the viewer experience. Okay, copy that. Okay, cool, cool. Let me, I'll, I'll, when, I, when I pit again, I'm going to remove this top fuel thing, too. How are the triples treating you, man? Are you just, do you feel like you've uh, found a new level of, of confidence with your setup? Dude, now you got the 4070 crank in and everything? Oh, baby. What's your average frame right now? Okay, so, well, that's better there. I need it. Well, probably maybe a little earlier on the break, maybe. I think I need to go to short shift to five here, carry in, and then. Okay, just exploring. Um, I have it set to 150 with everything max and it stays pinned. Nice. Oh, too much, too much. Third gear's a little, 
it's a different kind of corner. So yeah, this this team that I applied for, Jay, uh, Delta Sport is the one that Sean Campbell is on uh, for IVRA. And um, I should probably start turning it a little sooner. Oops, start turning in there a little sooner. <laughs> Just a little bit sooner. Uh, temp, temp stay at six. Wow, really nice, dude. What? I can carry through here with four. Maybe go down to third at the end. Can I carry how? Okay, that's an off track. Okay. Okay, this track is growing on me a little bit. Okay, that was a good turn there. Great turn. Let's jam on this. I got a short shift of five. Carry. And then go to Apex. Outside Apex. Oh, okay. I cut that, apparently. Max Jim, what's up, brother? How you doing, Max? We try and Magni Core this morning. Because I'm kind of sick of Daytona. I figure every, everybody else is probably sick of Daytona as well. So I was like, you know what? Let's mix it up. Let's mix it up a little bit. Also mixing it up with the LMP2. I have a minute out here. But yes, Delta Sport. So I applied for this team and they're like, uh, like I've got to have a 4.5K IR to, to even be considered. <laughs> and it was like, really? That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh my. That I was not expecting. Uh, I hate this track. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of do too, but you know what? I'm committed. It's kind of like Rudskijin, you know what I mean? Like, I think once you kind of, once you kind of commit to learning it, then it, you know, it's not so bad. Should I mix it up? <laughs> no flashing headlights, so he, he approves. He approved that pass. I'm feeling better today. I've been kind of struggling with, oh, that's the wrong line. <laughs> that was the third line, not the second line. Uh, Swank, do you ever race off stream? If, if you, if so, if so, do you notice a difference in the results? No, I never race off stream. <laughs> no, anytime I'm racing, it's on at this point just because of baby and stuff it, the only the only times i like game off stream or if i'm like practicing for ivra i'll practice alone um do i did uh i don't know no i don't think so for regarding results no i would say no if i ever if i ever do I need, I need you guys as much as you need me. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> honestly. Okay, that is a brutal kink there. I'm like, I thought for sure that was gonna be the one. It felt so good. Brutal kink. Oh, man, I need repairs. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, a little bit, a little bit of aggressive here. Let's just take a look at that. What did I do wrong? Let's just take a look at this. So, I got to turn in a little later, it looks like. Turn it so I can, my car's out here. Yeah, because then I'm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... No, I never do, you know, honestly. I just think that it's like, you know, I just love racing in front of people. And I think when I don't have that, I, I kind of make, I don't know, in some ways I make more mistakes if I'm not being watched. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I don't take it as seriously. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like a legitimate race if I'm racing by myself. You know? It's weird. Slower and faster out. Yep. Okay. Yep. I've been watching the uh, Swaleo videos, though. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've been watching the Swaleo videos, dude. It's it's intense, man. 
Like it was a lot more, a lot more than I didn't know than I thought I knew. Or a lot more. How do I say that? I'm learning a lot more than I thought I would learn. That's that's probably how I would say it. I'm learning a lot more than I thought I would learn. Okay, let's try to keep it clean now. Let's pretend like we're racing because we got 10 minutes left. So let's actually put it together. So we want to cut this in here, staying fourth gear to the curb. Okay, now we just tighten everything up. Yeah, he, he just gets under my skin for some reason. <laughs> there it is. Is that third? It's a third gear turn. Two soft spoken creepy guidance uh, counselor vibes. Wait, who are we talking about? Oh, Swellio? Guidance counselor? <laughs> I don't know if I've gotten that vibe. Um, I think he's definitely, um, I think he's, I think it's a cultural thing. I, I, I think what I'm picking up on is some cultural, cultural vibes. Him being like uh, Portuguese Brazilian. <laughs> okay, well, good to expect that in the future. This is gonna cut my nose off. I thought for sure he's gonna play along, but he didn't. Henri, Henri Ferrari. <laughs> Almost could take that in fifth, but I think it'd be too fast. I love the sound. The new sound uh, in this car is beautiful. No wonder everybody's liking it. Like the downshift? I just need more backfire. I need more backfire in my life. You know what I mean? Can I get an amen about that? Some more backfire in every car in iRacing would be would go a long way. I need to stay a second here. We are back, copy. Maybe because he has ne he's ever he's never told me something is wrong. manner Did, have you done have you done like actual like uh, race coaching with him one-on-one -on -one? is that what you're saying there we go okay it's starting to come together here as I cut the right cut the track here We should practice the um, the qualifying setup now. Kind of tempted to maybe um, take a little bit more practice with this. Switch over to Porsche. That Daytona. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of wanting to stick with it though. Just get it done. So I gotta stay second there, otherwise the torque's too much. Here's another Delara. Nice late apex from the Red Bull car here. I like that. Please, this guy. Still breaking a little too early there.
beautiful. Outside, I'll take it. Okay, it's growing on me. This is awesome. Actually, I'm really vibing on this track right now. Is it, a portion GT3, or well, I think I did in the GR86. I don't think I've done the G, uh, GT3 yet in this car, or in this track. It was a little weak there, it was a little weak. 131, we're getting it down to 30. Actually, carry four longer downshift later. Carry more speed through there. Okay. LMDH on my rear. Yeah, that's feeling just a little later downshift to the P1 or the G1 rather oh, we're, We took his line Okay, feeling good there That's bound to happen in the real race, I'm sure. That's bound to happen in the real race. Uh, this will be our hot lap in the race setup. Let's carry four. Down to three at the apex. Flat out since the apex. Beautiful. Flat out. Through the dog leg. Oops, misshifted. One, two. I think that's where I want to break. And short shift to five with a bat, small bat. Just to move the weight forward a little bit. Carry two. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's what happens when you downshift to one too soon there. Got to carry it to two, almost until you're ready to throttle. Then you go to first. Okay. I'm turning in too late there. That's my only problem right now. That in this last key turn. Uh, 
That's too much, too much torque on the first gear. I'm trying to trying to figure out where I can push this first gear, but not so much. Oh, you know what? We need to uh, switch over. Hopefully, we can switch now. Let's draw. Oof, we're getting in just just in time. We're getting in just in time. Ooh, you know, maybe I should do, should I do that? Maybe I should come back to that and do this first. This seems like a fun race though. Yeah, let's, we'll come back to that. We'll do this one, we'll do this one, let's do this one. LMP2, bingo. Sweet. My hair is looking crazy right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I figure probably with the 24, what on earth? That's right. I can't fix this hair. It's gonna be what it is. As the sun came up, I was like, uh oh, you see my hair. Uh, oh, Elemis J Bear, I think you're, it's just you and Jay probably right now, <laughs> holding down the fort. Uh, I realized as I was going live, this is probably going to be like one of the lowest viewer streams like ever. Uh, I just realized I have like a bowl in the background on the floor. <laughs> Can I grab it? Let's see. Yeah. That doesn't look great on stream, you know what I mean? But yeah, everybody's watching uh, the 24 hour, you know, everybody's watching, uh, but it's okay. You know what? We're just gonna kind of have fun and whoever comes in, comes in. We're just gonna grind out some I, ra some I rating, you know? Yeah, the, the, uh, the Le Mans, sorry, the Le Mans 24 is happening. Yeah, like uh, Max Verstappen's running it. Let's uh, actually let's take a little peek. He's in. Right here. This is it. And of course, your your teammate from. Praga Cup. Gordy Much is also in this one. How does it feel to be racing against him now? He, he, he said to me, watch out for me in the mirror, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jimmy Broadbent, yeah, by the way. He's gone, uh, he's gone bleach tear, which for when you're a brunette, it doesn't come out great. Although you probably have to do it a couple times to get it up to like platinum, you know what I mean? Like when you're brown hair, like going to platinum, you'd have to do it a couple times. Um, and yeah, that's like what you want. Well, no, not like not like this. This is like this is like Ken from Street Fighter color. No, no. What I would want to do is more like platinum. But you know, honestly, my hair looks pretty blonde on stream with my current lighting. I've been kind of happy with it how it looks. You know, Double check your car set up. I've been kind of happy with how it looks, to be honest. So, you just do this up here. Oh, you know, we need to practice qualifying setup. Uh, <laughs> go. That was what I envisioned. Oh, this? No. That color? Oh, no. Oh, no. Double check your car setup. <laughs> Not that color. Can I mute this? There's no controls. I'm just going to close this for now. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. This is my first time using the qualifying setup, so we're going to see how this is going to work out for us. Just going to talk myself through it. So I do too much.
so much better. Okay, here we go. Okay, carrying four all the way to the apex just a little bit. Downshifting at the apex. And one, two. I'm gonna try to break it the, the next line up after the, this one maybe. Down to two, carrying two later. Just a little bit of rubber. That was a close one. Down the first gear here. Down to first gear as well. That felt like a solid lap. Carry more with five, down to four. Two, carry into the apex. And four cut. Down to first gear. Good exit. of a low soft <laughs> but this is probably good for for me to learn this track 29 so that's my best in here but it looks like it needs to get down to a 27 for the qualifying so i'm about a second off for qualifying i'm actually stoked that this isn't like a like cracked out split super stoked i'm getting messages super stoked right now I need to turn on streamer mode. Notifications. I'm going to disable. Enable same channel message notifications. No. We want to turn that off. I'm going to look at my sounds too. I think I'm going to turn these. I like the track sounds a lot, but I think the ambience is up a little too, too loud. The wind also up a little too loud. Engine volume, good tires up all the way. <sighs> that looks pretty good. I think the wind was just up a little too much. 
chat is good. Crashes, good. Tires, in car. Sounds good. Sound. Okay. Uh, oh. We need to bind our flashing headlight flash. Okay, that is on. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn on my. I gotta figure out how to turn on my. My LED indicator. Convert to overlay. Let's try to close that. Uh, we're going to be doing a Hi. lot of flashing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot. Um, let's see if it's in here now. There it is. There it is. So basically, I put this on my right screen over here. You guys don't see this one. But that is what I like to see. I like to see that. Okay, let's go ahead and so okay. Actually, we're gonna close. We don't need. It's time to join the grid. I don't think we need this one anymore. Double check your car setup. I'm just gonna keep it down here in the lower left, though, just in case. Now let's go ahead and uh, save lamp. Washa. Stop. Um. Okay, let's take a look at anything else we can streamline here. Um. I feel like that, ooh, actually, actually I like that, that that's gone now. And now I need to go back over here, wait. Here, let's move this up here now. Let's get that out of the way a little bit more. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like that a lot. We can move this up a little bit more too. This is really good, yeah. This is really good. Just lower that down. That looks pretty solid. Hey, Drive Dead, what's up, bro? Hello. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> do you use your own track map? Oi. Um, do I? Uh, I do. Mine's mine on my screen is off to the center. Um, I'm just trying to streamline it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have just, 30 seconds to join I the grid. I have 30 seconds to join this grid. Okay, here we go. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a low split, you Why know, which I'm thankful green. for because uh, I haven't been in this car in a long time. And, you know, I just watched Owen and I'm like, man, you know, I think LMDH is... Um, I just don't think people are interested in watching LMDH because not a lot of people are driving it. And the people who are driving and aren't watching anybody else. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to kind of duck out of that. I'm going to duck out of that and uh, focus on either Porsche and LM LMP2 or just Porsche. I'm tempted just to focus on Porsche, That's to be honest. You know, oh, the inner Owen is saying, mate, you just got to focus on the Porsche, mate. Sorry, I don't know. That's from... Mm, sorry, that's not... <laughs> That's not a great one. <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, hello, governor. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not the right dialect. Um, <laughs> yeah, the old chimney sweep accent. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I just feel like I'm I should be focusing and oh yeah, and then also Owen. So I applied to Delta Sport. Have you heard of the team Delta Sport? What's your thoughts on Delta Sport? What's your thoughts on, on the Delta? Dude, the engine it sounds so good in this car now. Dude, it's crazy. I was like, I've never picked up on like the subtleties when I was watching your stream, Owen, but like, this is crazy, dude. It sounds so good. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a good time. I'm actually super glad. Um, that it's a low soft 
I don't have to do too much performing uh, to do well, I think. I can just kind of chill and like focus on the car, focus on the family, focus on my core, my core, my core, and uh, and just have a good time. This is my first outing in this in a long time. We just got to stay on the track. We just got to stay on the track. Hmm. And I don't want to do full pit, I don't think, right? I don't want to do full pit. I'm going to take my tires off. Just in case. And should put it on fuel as well. Starting in this corner is a little sketchy. Green, green, green. Nothing sketchy about this corner to start. This is our factor. <laughs> Malthron, Malthron, what's up, man? I've kind of been looking at our factor, honestly, a little bit more seriously. All right, here we go. We got to focus. We got to give this everything I can because I'm not used to this car at all. And downshifting at the apex, my apex. Okay, we're in and out. We're in and out, boys. Uh, I have no idea where this yellow is. Okay, sweet. Cold tire still. Just in my brake, we can't put the stop. I mean, you know, in LMP Pro, it's true, it's true. It's true. Decently. Decently well. Faster. It's sketchy. That's a sketchy. That's a sketchy boy right there. All right, let's just not think about that. Down to fourth here. Let's do a late downshift to three at the apex. Flat out. All right, we're in a positive IR situation. Now I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy. All I wanted to do was just a neutral, positive IR situation. Nothing else. I don't need anything else. And there's an LMDH with us for some reason. <laughs> this is like poking out. Like, bro, what? Are you, what are you doing here? He, I think he. Um, he's like the ugly duckling. He's, <laughs> he thinks he's P1. <laughs> Just a little wide there. 
Okay, I think I might be able to podium this, honestly. Or, like, he won this, rather. If I could just not miss shift again. All right, let's try to take this last one a little bit better, shall we? Just don't try to kill me. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Carrying longer floor, a little longer. Hello, RC. What's up, bro? Hey, great photos, by the way. I loved them. Love those photos, man. Your work is so good. So inspiring, honestly. Like that, that first shot was so good. That first shot they used for the uh, header. Quality. Super quality. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to get a little faster in there. I don't want to run it out too wide. Uh, let's tighten it up a little bit. Got a little excited for RC. The RC is in here. That was a good exit. It was decent. It wasn't perfect, but it was decent. Let's try to attack. My. Unnecessary heavy braking. great i haven't driven this car uh, this season at all and it feels way different it feels like a different car just a little bit looser there it looks like he's attacking now as well I'm doing great, man. How are you doing, Ollie? Good to see you, man. Ollie, what team are you? Wait, I asked you already what team you're on. Or no, you didn't respond. What team are you on? Are you on uh, Fordzilla 2? Oh, shoot. Uh, it's hard to talk right now. I'm not used to enough, uh, I'm not used to this car enough to engage in conversation quite yet. It's kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of a little hard right now. Not enough brain cycles to go around. Superior team, oh Koegi. Nice. Superior team. Have you ever heard of Delta Sport? By, by chance, have you ever heard of Delta Sport? No, that's not good. I'm trying to talk. I shouldn't be doing that. Oh well. I'm, I'm pretty much locked in for third anyway, so. 
maybe we can just get better. We can just get better at talking and driving this at the same time. Also, my AC, I just realized, is not on. Please turn on. I'm getting so hot. I have. What do you think about that team? Is that a legit team, a good team? Sean Campbell's on it. He referred me to it. Uh, and I, I thought about applying. You know, I've just been thinking I need to get on to, like, an organization, you know? Oh, there's a keyboard behind me. Like, I just, like, that the other night when I was practicing with you and everybody, like, Leon and everybody, and at least I think you were in there. And Owen was in there, and Tom was in there. I was like, man, this is what I'm missing. I'm missing just some bros to drive with, like, in practice time, you know? That's an LMDH. Just miss some, like, I just need some, like, bro drivers, you know? I think when I, when I left Geeks, it's, yeah, that was hard to leave, because, you know, no one, and none of the guys really want to race with you when you're off the team, you know what I mean? I've been trying, I try to, like, maintain the relationship with the old teammates. And it's, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't really work, really, because they're, like, everybody's very clicky, you know? When you're on a team, it's, like, you don't exist when you're off the team, you know what I'm saying? It's just sad. It makes me kind of sad. Plus free coaching. Yeah, coaching VCs. Actually join, join, join Koegi. Okay. Um, I'm not opposed. Uh, do they? T I didn't think a lot of these top teams would even entertain like a driver at my I rating. But apparently a lot of people have like kind of development stuff, you know, too, as well. And, and so I'm kind of just like, I just feel like that's what I've been missing, you know? T like I'm kind of, it's not so much that I'm s like, yeah, I'm, I'm not super fast yet, but I oh, jeez. Ah, dang it. As I do that. I'm not super fast yet. <laughs> Clearly. Um... But I've just been feeling like I've been missing, like, relationship in my life. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of making, making me sad. I think that's what I've been struggling with the most, is just not having, like... Like, I don't know. Like, it's one thing to stream, you know, but it's... It's, like, another thing to... To, like, hang out with bros, you know what I mean? So... I just feel like that's what I'm missing. And that, I think by, by virtue of like getting relationship with people, like I just feel like I would get faster, faster. Like you get better faster. Cause I'm having a lot of fun and I've never been kind of like a solo work group guy. You know what I mean? Like in high school or college, like I always like being in groups. Cause it inspires me. They have a PGZ driver, Leo. Oh, Leo, wait. Oh, I've seen Leo Garibaldi. That's not Leo, oh, it's not okay. Is it? Is that Leo is not okay or is okay? <laughs> Leo is okay, sorry. That is him. Oh, that's him. Okay. That's that's the Leo. That's so funny. Okay. Crazy. I like Leo. And I like you, Ollie, as well. I mean I like the whole drive dead crew, honestly. I mean I'm like, man, like when can I get a uh, like a hot and well because well, you know I mean you guys have known each other for a long time you guys are like like all friends prior to racing it seems like which is so rad in America like nobody does this like it's so rare for an American to want to consider sim racing as like a main sport in their life would you like to join I'm certainly open to it I mean, I don't really, honestly, I don't, I don't really know what I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't really know what I don't know when it comes to like teams like that, like why this team or why that team or whatever. But honestly, if I, I don't really know Sean, Sean, I was just like writing to say like congratulations and to talk to him because I saw he was like streaming at one point. <laughs> A, Sean Campbell has a video on his YouTube where he's literally racing like top split. I don't know if you've seen this video. Where he's racing in top split and he's like 
toggling back. He's toggling back into Bloom's TD on another screen. He'll like alt tab on a straight and then do a couple moves in balloons. It's ridiculous. So anyways, I just thought I was like, you're mad, you're mad. You're insane, aren't you? Like he just like, he's not getting enough challenge in racing alone. He's gotta have, like, he's gotta alt tab to another, another game, basically. It's pretty funny. Uh, not drive dead, yeah, Koeki, yeah. Uh, yo, well, I, yeah, because Drive Dead's on the Apex Racing Academy, so that ain't gonna happen. At least not for a while, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That car is going down. Alright, 4.5 seconds ahead. Let's see if we can catch this guy. Because I don't want to be in P5 anymore. I wish I could... This is a hard track to read. Uh, I need to move my... I need to figure out how to get my chat on my main screen. I have chat on, on the main on the main feed up there, but not... We race top split all the time. Sweet. Wait, RC... Well, I, but Reese, right, you're on... Are, wait, what? But you're, you're on Fordzilla. We'll get the contract sorted. <laughs> okay, thanks. Koegi, you get giga photos, mate. Okay. Uh, that's what I've been missing, honestly. Because I tell you what, like, as much as it's kind of, like, easy for me to, like, take photos, because I'm a photographer, like, a real photographer, like, real life, it's, I just can't stand the process. I, I just, I don't know. I just can't stand the process to end the game. I don't have, like, a good process to actually capture photos in the game so it's like ugh, so arduous that's why the uh, RC sim photos is an actual legit job now which is rad that's it's so cool I think about that a lot I'm like that's so cool you're like blazing a new trail you know what I mean You're blazing a new trail. P4 is 2.8 seconds, so we are gaining. Yeah, like if I had been on like a real team for uh, an IBRA, like and actually had like a race partner, I just print, <laughs> I press print screen. <laughs> oh, you do? That's so funny. But you probably use JRT, right? You probably use JRT, I'd imagine, to get the sweet shots. I take a picture of my monitor with my phone. <laughs> and then take a picture with what? That's like some being John Malkovich stuff right there. Right side. Clear. Alright, 1.6. Let's just get this guy real quick. I do like that GRT look, though. People just use, uh, but you're all nat, all natty. I bet you're working. Uh, dude, have you seen the motion blur that that thing adds? Crazy, dude. It's out. Oh, there's that early first gear again. Crap.
I have, I don't like it. Oh, really? Is it more of the process of capturing that you don't like it? I think I used like a 4K up res or two one time and yeah, the, like the, they're not great. Like it's, it's a lot of work for, it's a lot of extra like hoops for a little, a little bit of extra, you know? It's not, it's not that great for what you're, for the amount of work you're having to put in. The line's okay. All right, three point three seconds ahead. Let's get him again. Let's get him again. We can do this. It looks like he's off. He's, is he going off? It's a little late on the on the throttle there. Oh yeah, this is him right here. Sweet. Ten seconds to uh, P three. here on the outside. Get off on the foul. Stay first or second there? I think it's first. Just let that door open. Uh, uh, I just don't like it. I prefer a straight, straight from my right. It's interesting. I'm shocked to hear you say that. What a good but also, game. not totally surprising. Uh, let's try to take this better here. Just nice and easy in, and then taking that sweet pressure. I got it, bro. I got it. Let's see if we can catch P3 now. Works perfect every time. Yeah, it seems like first gear is a little bit more sensitive on it. So Ko Koegi, uh, so I'm assuming I'd be a development driver, right? I mean, that, that's what it seems like. I, I mean, I know it, like you gotta be above like four, like 5K, I think in order to get considered like to be like on a real team, you know? Coming in a little too hot there. I know nothing about Koegi. Uh, not Ollie and Brunei are around 4K. Oh, they are? No need for big numbers. Sweet. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Are they going to do... Are they doing PEC? Do you know? 
Do you know if, they're, if that team is doing PEZ? 20 bones to him? Do win it. schedule. Nah, P3 is definitely just pulling away a little bit by a little bit. my first time on it. I only got 20 minutes of practice, so that's what you're seeing right now. So don't judge too harshly, okay? And I haven't been in this car yet. This is my first time in this car. 20 minutes of practice with the car on this track, neither of which I've ever done. So, you know, it's a little soft and that car is let down. I'm happy with where, what, I'm, what's, what I'm seeing right now. I uh, know we are all not. Wait. But I don't know. I gotta ask. Is this LMBH? Car on your left. Clear. Okay, no, we are not, but we're looking at joining leagues throughout the year. Okay, sweet. What leagues do you guys normally run? And how long have you been on the team, Ollie? On Koegi. How long have you been with the, the team? Like over a year? Or under a year? Uh, over six months, under six months. Is it British based? Not too much torque. I have my pedal. I have my pedal uh, curve set to LMDH. That's also causing a little problem. I think. So no other leagues planned? Is that what that answers? I was more just wondering how long you've been with the team. Oh, so it's, it's, a, it's a British based team, right? Or you're saying, oh, not really no to that. Right side, that car is the left down. Clear. The force feedback feels a lot better too. Actually, it makes me want to turn it up. I got it down a little bit right now. Oh, it sounds so good. The downshift in this car sounds beautiful now. Oh my god, it's like ASMR status. Oh, it's so good. Ah, uh, too much oversteer now. Uh, we have a Swedish, a Swedish, a Swedish. Swedish mirror. What? Swedish Morong? Is that what I just said? Morong. And some Danish guy? Is Morong a place? Or, are you, or did you mean moron? <laughs> 
Swedish moron. <laughs> And some Danish guy, okay. So not many people, is it a new team? Is that what I'm hearing? Like you guys, are they looking like, I'm, cer I'm certainly curious. But I'm also curious, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm curious about Delta Sport too. Delta Sport I think is primarily American, which is kind of appealing to me as well. But I also think that they're not really like a team in the in the truest sense of the word. They're more of like a collective, I think. I think Delta Sport and Race Factory are kind of like a collective. Started mid last year. Okay, so so a little less than. Eight months, I guess, something like that. And what car do you mean, Ollie? I'm assuming LMB2, right? LMB2 and Porsche. Porsche. Don't you hate it when like these GT3 drivers like they like overcompensate? They're like, no, this is my world. This is my world. How dare you try to buzz me on my line? That's how I imagine. It's French snobs. How dare you think about it? <laughs> That's ringing Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a little too much. Ollie, do you ever do uh, um, LFM? ACC? Or a Seto Corsa? This car this season on this track, so Unboxing, Julia. I thought I hated this track. Bunch of um, at least I didn't. I did in GR86. I tried it in GR86, and I was like, "What on earth is this track for this for these cars? For these cars, it feels great. For these cars, it feels fantastic. Feels like a much better track. I don't know about the GT3s, but in the LMP2, it feels phenomenal." But I like that nice little uh, overseer you can get. Kind of send a little bit more slipstreamy. Uh, is that an off track? No, you can run that wide. That was a little risky, but you know, I might as well practice it. Practice moves. Uh, Alex and uh, Grovec. Bethendik, Bendiak. Alex Andre Grafek. What's up, man? What brings you in here? I figured the stream would be pretty dead today with all the cool racing going on. So I was like, you know, if I do Daytona, what's the point? You know what I mean? So it's going to offer up something a little different. I think this um, this setup is a little the brake bias is a little forward as well. Just a little bit.
everything else is perfect. Just it feels like this the break by it's just a little Actually, sorry, backward. It needs to be moved forward, I think. At least for me. Add JJ later. What about JJ? Is he in here? I've been, um, I did a, um, I did a coaching session with Bruno and JJ, kind of back to back, and, um, you know, I like Bruno a lot, I like them both, um, Bruno you can tell is definitely a better seasoned coach, um, cause that's his, I think it's his like professional role, sadly his prices are just, I need to let him know, his prices are just too much, it's just too much money, I, I can't. I can't swing it. But you know, he says he's worth it. And I agree. I think he's. I think he's a good coach. I just, I, I. Yeah, maybe he's more of like the coach I would use when I get a little higher up. But he also says he's not like racing as much anymore either. So that that always kind of like is like a red flag too. It's like he's like not competing as well. And I was like, well. I mean, I guess you don't have to be a good competitor to be a good coach, but it's it's like I don't know, like. But he's also not going to be like aware of like the meta, you know, in terms of like how the setups and the tires. And so I was just like, I don't know. I like JJ's more unrefined approach. A lot. Like cool kid style. Like, yeah, you know, like if you don't know what I'm doing, then, you know, I'd screw you, man. No, I'm just, <laughs> that's kind of his, like, he's just a cool kid, you know what I mean? I like, I like, I like cool kids. Insanely seasoned, yeah. Oh, yeah, nothing against Bruno. I think he's probably great. Clear. I just think, well, one is, I would do Bruno, but he's just too much money, so. It's kind of like, I need to let him know. I'm just like, ah, uh, you know, oops. Uh, like if he, if he, sorry, wrong turn. It's actually not that much of a slow, really, considering how much like time I save. Who's this guy? Oh, this is P3 behind me? Oh, I'm out of fuel. Oh no. I forgot to look at my fuel. Uh, that's a shame. I was like, why is P3 behind me? Can I get there? <sighs> kind of gets coasted in. I think we're right there, right? <sighs> I'm not used to driving this car and talking. I feel like such an idiot right now. I haven't done this in a while. That car is the left down. Clear on the right. I think we're gonna make it. We'll be able to salvage it at least. Thank Five, God. Three, two, one. Right here. Sweet. How much fuel? Five point. It didn't adjust my fuel. It didn't adjust my fuel. Oh no! It's not gonna make it. Six. Okay, go. Sweet. Just, uh, just say you can't afford it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him know. For sure. That car is the left down. Sweet, and I kept my place. <laughs> Ran out of fuel and kept my place. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> P4. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was sad. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy again. <laughs> I did lose P3, but... I probably wouldn't have kept it anyways. Okay, I'll tell him that. I don't think he's gonna change though because he's he's pretty confident, you know. Like he 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 like coaches real life people. Like, did you know he goes to he like flies to real tracks and then like like coaches people in real life? Did you know that? Did 
you know he did that? That's so cool. Dude, that's like living the dream. Like they pay for his like hotel. He said he gets like $500 a day per person. 500. And then if it's like two people, he'll do like 450 per person. So he'll get like 900 on the day. Baby. Think about that money. Think about that money. This track now. I might do it again. I like it a lot, actually. It's nice. It's nice and technical. It's hard. This car is feeling so good. excited about coming here. <laughs> Anybody excited about Company of Heroes 3? I probably sh I probably shouldn't play it. I think I'm determined. I'm like I really like it a lot. Yeah, it's only just a beta, too. seconds to uh, P3. There might be something here. Is that right? Uh-oh. That's going to slow my stuff. Car on. That car is the left down. Clear on the right. Clear. 
short shift action. That felt great. All right, let's go flat out here. See if we can catch uh, P through it a little bit. Sorry, track. I love you. It turns out I love you, track. I was prejudiced against you. My 128, though, fastest lap. I like to see that. That means I should be uh, on the next uh, race. It should be a 127. Oh, a little too hot and heavy there. I feel like my traces are getting better. All right, uh, let's take a look at what we can do next here. Do we want to do Daytona? Probably not, because I need to get I need to get an elite setup for that one. So I'm kind of tempted to stay with uh, this one, the Magni Core, but I don't think people are going to be liking that either. Um, it makes sense, right? Oh, it looks like Formula A Grand Prix is cooking off. I should jump in there. But I don't think I'm going to be able to cook it. Tempted to hop into here. But I, there's no point because I'll just, yeah. There's no point. I'm just going to stick with IMSA. I'm just going to stick with IMSA, boys. All right, uh, let's take a look at this here. I mean, do you think that you could potentially do the transition and kind of maybe compete in 24 hours in one, one day? Uh, I hope so. Uh, I mean, the, my objective is to be uh, like a, a pro driver. Uh, like, uh, that's what I want to do uh, for uh, later. Oh, it's done. And uh, so I I will do my, my best to to get the best level I can in real life and 
yeah, they maybe take part in the 24 hours of Le Mans. How much would you say the 24 hours of Le Mans virtual uh, has been an integral part of changing the public and, of course, drivers' opinion on esports? Uh, I don't know why it's so quiet. It's a, it's a huge, a huge step for for. So this is maxed out. Sports. How is that possible? Uh, because uh, an event like this, ev I mean, all, everybody knows uh, the 24 hours of Le Mans. So huh. it's giving really credibility and yeah, a good step for for sim racing and esports. Great. Well, thank you very much, Elliot. No problem. Thank you. Hayley Edmonds doing a sterling job out there in Versailles, and they, we've now met most of that team. The last member of that team, Maxime Brayon, who I'm sure we'll talk to at some point, is pro probably one of the ones with the greatest story because he is from Le Mans also, yeah. and it was him, really, uh, that managed, managed Toyota when Toyota Gazoo Racing in that first Le Mans virtual, I don't want to say f were forced to enter, but had an obligation yeah. to enter the Le Mans virtual for the first time with absolutely no esports background at all. But Maxime was an engineer for the Toyota Gazoo racing team and so kind of guided them in and, and raced for them and raced with them. And to this day, he oh still right. says 14th was his proudest achievement in sim racing. He, by the way, is now a Formula E development driver for the DS well, it's Penske now, I was about to say to, to, uh, to Cheetah, but uh, Penske Formula E team, uh, he's got a huge amount of experience, but just an incredible uh, story from him. So we will, I'm sure, talk to, yeah. to Maxime later on. Uh, but right. amazing to, to have a 16-year-old in there as well, uh, being called up last minute. And Elliot is a man that we know and really, really good. Yeah, he's done a lot of uh, a lot of sim racing and stuff. He's a super talent. And uh, like I said, it's great to have him uh, racing him again, more of an iRacing specialist, but still uh, here in RF2, learning the ropes. And what bigger place to learn the ropes than here? <laughs> yeah, and being thrown in the deep end and qualifying at such a high level. Yeah, uh, like I said, dude, fantastic. It, right at the last minute to have jumped in and uh, to have kind of stepped that one up and, and, and kind of found that pace immediately. I know obviously the qualifier wasn't exactly slapped on the pole position, but to have got somewhere in the uh, top 15, top 20, like, that's really, really solid. In the simulator you're unfamiliar with, in a car you're unfamiliar with, uh, representing a massive brand, being Peugeot, who've got everything set Double up check your car set up. And, and kind of getting in with them a bit. Cars are being reset onto the grid and we will be going back to green flag conditions very, very shortly. Before we do, though, let's just remind you once again of how we've got to this point, the culmination of season two of the Le Mans virtual series. The Nats now focus on the start of the Le Mans virtual series for 2022 in Bahrain for the eight hours of Bahrain. Rebound holds on, Simicic through, Simicic through again, and oh, can he go all the way around the outside? Surely he can't, he's going to try though, this is going to be a mega move. And the BMW is going to be ahead of the Porsche, squeezing on pit exit, the Porsche needs to be careful not to cross the white line, there's traffic, huge traffic coming past, and they come out of the pit side by side, they rock, they bump, they ball. There is the smiles from Jernie Simicic, what a drive it has been. Huge pressure throughout the race. Wait, it's already done? We are going to have a very scrappy looking start. The red line car from the front row of the grid, car number one. Max Benecki qualified it on the outside of the front row, but he was Wait. already behind. Could Smolyar get his nose inside down into the first of the race? Well, he does. Again, they give each other race. Smolyar didn't get right out of the curve. Oh, yes, yes, there is. Medium tires on the SF Velas eSports car. So, so oh! So Gee, big in the Barrett's the 18. That's a big shame. Check a flag awaits, and it will be Team Redline, car number one, that is in first place as the flag comes out. Victory goes to Jeffrey Riedwald and Team Redline. And we go green flags wave. Six hours of Spa-Francorchamps is underway. Round three of the 2020 Le Mans Virtual Series. It's quick on the straight, so it's about what RAG can do in this section. Oh. Wow. He's all over the Porsche. He's got much more of something. Either get up and go or grip or both. They have managed to combine speed and frugal fuel mileage to take a convincing victory for third place. This is the final roll of the wow. dice for Johan Jojovski. He's going to take it, isn't he? It's going to be a drag race to the line. He's going to win this. He's going to make sure that the Porsche does not get back beside him. 
cars fan out over the the start and finishing line and we go into turn one and i think red line has lost a position there james baldwin looks to the outside has the overlap into turn one it's very very bumpy it's very very fast there's no way through but he tries to the cutback side by side on the exit towards turn two verstappen's up on the grass verstappen is wide and verstappen has let james clear. baldwin Under. through and they've done it they've taken victory in Wait, are they showing? Series here at the 500 miles of Sebring, the gap 2.7 seconds, and almost better than that, they've done the double. Porsche Coanda one, two. Of course, you can relive the races in full on our YouTube channels if you uh, have got a little fuzzy feeling inside you after listening to those amazing highlights. Uh, and you oh want to watch the full, I think that was awesome. That would be that would be uh, about. Eight, 18 hours? 60, that was like the last uh, one, right? Uh, yeah, it would be more than that. It's, uh, it's uh, let's take a look at that, how, how that feels. That feels pretty good. That's half the season. Right. There you go. So once feels you're pretty done good. with this race, uh, log on to YouTube channel, and you can spend the rest of your uh, week watching the rest of the uh, season. I kind of like the layout races. right now of that. It feels good. We are getting uh, cars on to grid, as I've said a few moments ago. We will be going back to green flag racing shortly. Presumably, uh, there was going to be Start of the race to being at two o'clock in game time. I've been just told that the rain stopped whilst we were in red flag conditions, yes, right. so we will have a dry track to restart. Yeah. Um, I guess that's possible too, isn't it? You know, yeah, why not? Rain can start, rain can stop. Yep, and we still are expecting some rain on the horizon as well. Yes, so exactly. We're there, yeah, we're just, if the, the rain was actually expected to be heavier in this hour that we're heading into. Uh, that out um, the sick uh, racing. Whether that is going to be the case, whether that's, you know, again, it's a forecast. Thing, but, uh, yeah. and, and the rain doesn't have an effect on uh, the reason why we had a red flag. No, no there, is, there is a lot of this where it's like, oh, well, it must be the rain. It, it must, it must I didn't know there the was rain, rain in our factor. No, no, not really, that's pretty sweet. Uh, it's not going to be the, the reason. We haven't run it in, in years uh, previous. Uh, obviously, back in 2022, uh, and then in the original one in 2020 for a few reasons. Uh, obviously, we're going to post me embarrassed. That's the thing. Uh, obviously, uh, it makes sure that everything was in place to make sure that it was a, a consistent system that was kind of there. You know, Half-Axis is always being developed. Uh, Real World 2.0 and some of the plugins that they've got to work in the final season. Basically, it's new for this season that they've been able to, whilst well, half has always had quite well there, it's just being able to implement it in something like this. Is not actually as easy as going. Well, it was, it's got rain, then, so why don't we just turn it off? It's not as simple as that. So we're fine. What we will have when we go back to green flag conditions is our leading car, and not a no, another opportunity to see Mission 24, uh, a car powered by hydrogen, known as the LMPH 2G. It's the first hydrogen electric racing prototype and a leading car for our Le Mans virtual entered by Mission H24 in a program in collaboration with the Automobile Club West and Green GT. H2, the symbol for hydrogen, G for gas, because it's hydrogen gas which is stored in its tank. This car runs on fuel cells and it produces its own electricity. Developed and improved, Gen 2 is called H23. To date, it is also raced in the more uh, Michelin Cup, and H24 is hoping to race yeah. in the Road to Mark 2023 in preparation to race in 2025 in the actual Le Mans 24 hours. And usually, Aurélie Malé uh, is the driver of our leading car. He certainly was for the last couple of years when we were in Paris yeah. and, and he was there. Uh, and he's the commentator on the French stream if you are struggling to understand our <laughs> English and you are a fan 
that speaks French better than English, then there is a French version of uh, Orin Ballet, Bruno Van der Stick, uh, and, and various other guests based out of the ACO Tower uh, at Le Mans in its centenary year. Louis, are you going to come this year? I'm trying, I'm still, no, probably not. Uh, Why? Uh, well, we have sim racing to come and no one, No one has offered me work. Uh, for, obviously, <laughs> no one uh, I mean, I've got to say, by the way, just speaking of uh, history, I mean, when it comes to, to going after you know, sustainability, racing is, is kind of one of those things where there is a lot done in racing that's kind of not necessarily seen by the majority when it comes to, uh, obviously, making sure that everything's as green as possible, but uh, we use as much renewable energy as possible. But then there is always the fuel, which is, yes, whilst we biofuel, there, there is always still that tinge from the public that it's not necessarily the case. Having something like hydrogen, that is well known yeah, uh, 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 as a green, as a sustainable option to have that in a race car and to have that as, as, as potential for the future. This is again, it's, it is it's a brilliant step um, for the future because you can't just have a, 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 a 24 hour race where you come in and you just plug, well, plug it in for an hour and we're going to have dinner and then we'll come back. Hide from the only, but the only real way you can kind of do something like that and then try to have a, a car run at 24 hours. It's a fantastic movement. Let's say, keep, keep our fingers crossed that it does progress in the way that we want it to. Yeah, absolutely. This year, Garage 56, which has always been traditionally uh, the wild card entry into Le Mans with new technologies and things like this, electric power, uh, or uh, a car that was fully piloted by drivers that were uh, disabled one year. Uh, this year, it's going to be a NASCAR, NASCAR yeah. uh, which is going to be quite interesting. A very kind. Of, and NASCAR's got lots of big blips everywhere. Uh, yeah, I did one. I was like, surely, surely it's got to have more downforce on it than yeah, a normal one. It does. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be a very yeah. interesting incentive yeah. yeah. uh, in celebration of the partnership, I suppose, between uh, America and Europe uh, and the close partnership between IMSA and the as well. Right. Um, Haley is obviously, as we've seen, in Paris. Uh, and we haven't really had a chance to look around properly at uh, Peugeot eSports facility, so we've sent her off to do some digging. So I'm here at the Peugeot headquarters in Versailles. As you can see in the entrance, there is the road car 508 with some kind of uh, 9x8 uh, inspired features on this. Uh, so come on in and I will give you a whistle-stop tour of what happens in here. This is the production room studio, etc. We have the 908 hybrid. Now this didn't actually take to a track competitively. Uh, this was the advanced model of the 908 that won Le Mans in 2009. And for this model, which is a 9X8, well, it actually drew a lot of inspiration from that model. It was one that really kind of shaped uh. the new generation of hybrid cars. Uh, and we find a lot of inspiration, but no rear wing this time, in the 9X8. Now we're going to move on behind here. As I said earlier, this is the actual box that they use for the wreck. Come on in. Uh, Malta Jakobsen, you can see, is currently driving. The we are running out of fuel. Here. Uh, some little seats for any of the drivers that want to be uh, seeing what's happening on the screen. And yeah, a uh, place for them just to warm up. Come over here. Yeah. Yes, Gustavo. G Gustavo, don't you want a little um, uh, peat stop bar here? Uh, made with raisins. Here we go to fuel the drivers. Um, I tried one earlier. It's delicious. Sustainable apparently as well. Cereal bar. Let's move on around here. Uh, Gustavo, come on. Let's have a quick chat. Let's have a look at Gustavo. Are you, go are you going off to bed? You just got your delivery in. Oh yes, I did. I just got sushi. Nothing better in mid-race than sushi. Absolutely. Uh, so when are you back on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sushi. No, um, I, I don't know. With the, with the delay, <laughs> yeah, so he's like worried about his shorts. Around 8.30. Around 8.30. Okay, so you're going to go off, have a little break, and then come back. Just how did Justin go? <laughs> well, uh, I didn't crash, so I'm happy with that. But uh, it went all right, obviously. We'll see where we are now after the, the crash, the server crash. Um, but slowly make up some time, eat some good food. Enjoy the race. You said earlier you didn't actually have a sim rig yourself, so it must have taken a lot of kind of preparation getting up to level. How does the dynamic work between you and, for example, the young sim racers? Do you question them a lot? Do you get a lot of advice from them? I feel older every time I come here. <laughs> These kids, they're like 16 years old and they fly. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, no, they are doing the advice and all you can do is try to self-improve every time you get in the car. Absolutely. Well, enjoy your sushi. See you back later. Yeah. Gustavo Menendez, we're going to move around here and see if there are anyone else.
Who? No, they're all. Oh, Maxime. Come on, let's have a quick word. One last word, Maxime. Uh, Maxime. So, uh, virtual Le Mans 2023. How's it going for you so far? Uh, it was fine at the beginning, but we got disconnected uh, during the first hour, so we back uh, at the back of the big lap for two laps down. But now we're going to be back, so hopefully uh, we'll get uh, that time back and uh, we'll see how it goes. So as a sim racer, what's it like to be competing against the world best motorsports uh, driver? Well, well, a bit like you, because in the sim world we are always competing against uh, each, each, each other, sorry. So, like, it's, yeah, just pretty used to do this uh, 24 hours of the more uh, for the third time, but, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, I'll let you guys get on anyway. Gustavo's a shout this evening. Uh, we'll enjoy yeah, I'll leave a lot there. What appetit is, you said? Yes, yes. <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> They're having a nice time, aren't they? Lewis, let's talk about the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> They're interesting. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's sim racing attire. You don't have to be in a fire suit for it's any of this. It's a thing, right? <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I don't race in sorts. Uh, I, 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 I prefer to be... Jeans and a t-shirt. Make sure you are as comfortable as possible because the moment you're all of a and you're doing all, all you can think about for about three hours is actually sure it's as comfortable. And moreover, you get quite hot. So well. hot. So that's where the shorts come in. Bit of aeration. Um, and we, we had it in, in, in the house. I think, I think it was last year, uh, one of the year before, we had a bit of an issue with our boiler in the house. Uh, obviously, in January, which is cold, uh, and yet still, when it, I, I was doing a few races in the evening, I still said, Because I was like, I, I can't. When you're, it could be minus five. But you're still doing the sim racing. You're, 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 you're driving around, and you're still sweating. And there is so energy that you are perhaps expelling. Which I find interesting because I've, I've had some discussion with a lot of people about this. I'm not necessarily sure it's physical, right? And I think you, you, you're going to be like, yeah, well, I'm sure it is because obviously that's what you do. Right. But if you watch uh, any sim race that's done um, a stint just outside of race, in a practice, right? Then again, it's about eight heart rates really go up. It's we are like, running out of yeah, fuel. Does. Not, not as much. Nowhere near as much. Like, it's, it's like I can, you can do stints man, kind of casually in practice. But in the race, where you're effectively doing the same thing, your heart rate is up 30 or 40 more than what it was. Like you'll see some sim races where the heart rate is genuinely in the, the, the 150s and 160s, yeah. something higher than that in the actual of the race, which doesn't necessarily happen. In fact, it's more than the hundreds. Because it is still physical. But it's that mental side of it which actually does push that, and that's what makes you sweat. The amount of focus and concentration. It's like doing an exam every 15 seconds. Yeah, there's a, a, there's a mental stress to it. Yeah. But, but it is, you're not just sitting down, resting heart rate, uh, sitting yeah, here, <laughs> not really talking, what, 60, 70, something like it should, that? It should, it should be around 60. Yeah. We're going to talk about what it probably is, <laughs> but it should be 60. But sitting here, rig, racing, and remember, most of those guys will have direct drive, so there's a little bit of force in that so that you could be smooth with the inputs up to 100. It, it's at least like walking your dog. At the, at the very minimum. Yeah, at the very minimum, it's like walking your dog. So sim racing is good for you. That's my message. <laughs> uh, buy me. a rig and you might lose some weight. Uh, I, I've been trying. I've been trying for years. Right, let's go and listen to some drivers. We've got probably much better advice than that. Hi, guys. Jan van der Heide here. Cringy. Number six Super cringy. <laughs> this is the, the most cringy. Taking part in the virtual Le Mans event. And again, just such a unique experience driving against the best of both real and virtual world of motorsport so really looking forward to it again and fingers crossed for everyone to have a clean and incident free race and hope you're gonna enjoy the show let's make it a good one hello everyone i'm michael Fay from Inspiracing as a driver and team manager me it's an amazing experience to have a chance to compete against the world's best sports driver and teams and to learn a lot and improve ourselves. So, wish everyone good luck and have fun during the race. Hi, my name is Lyubov Zivitskovskaya. I'm going to race virtual Love. Le Mans 2023 with Grav by Love 46. So excited to share Two. track with uh, the best esports teams and racing drivers. See you. Hi, my name is Nakib Azdan. I'm racing for Sam 9 Axel. 
Um, and for me, it's just going to be an amazing experience racing again in the 24 hour the mode virtual. Arguably one of the biggest races out there in the sim racing scene. So, super excited. We've got the biggest name out there in the racing industry, which is Max Verstappen. So, there's one name to look out for, and one name for me that I'll be aiming to be on track. So, looking forward to it, and yeah, can't wait. Hello, everyone. Jesper Pedersen from Floyd Van Holt Burst Car here. I love competing at this high level together with pros and sim racers from all around the world and we are currently sitting P2 in the championship. I hope we can put on a great show for you guys at the Le Mans final. Have a good one. Hi, my name is Remy Delon, sim racer for the station racing. Driving for our black team with two pro drivers who drove Le Mans in real life is so special for me. Chavez has won the 24 hour of Le Mans 2022 in GTM class. And I feel very lucky and proud to be a part of this amazing team. Thanks everyone for your support. We are back to green flag conditions. Here is the number 20 Porsche. And he's got a massive jump on the rest of the field. This is a formation lap apparently. I don't think, I don't feel they are pushing hard. They didn't sound No, no, we're really not racing right. yet because we were only racing when yeah, it comes to the green, when it comes to line. The leading car has gone into the pits. The weird thing for me is these two are miles ahead of me. OK, they aren't going to slow the cars down. I was so going to say that. Leading car has gone into the pits. We're going to have another formation lap because look, I, I where's everyone else? No. They are on track. They are on track. Is it ARC Brass Love? Well? And maybe that's the problem, yeah. Maybe maybe there's been a bit of miscommunication, because certainly not the AMG particular Trainers Esports car, which we kind of expect to be in that position. The third car in the queue is the 24, so oh, that's just the... the Le Mans Virtual Cup car. Yeah, Le Mans Virtual Cup car. I think it was yellow, at least, so I've got the colour right, so it's, that's So that's race control cool. need to slow down that leading car, don't they? Uh, before we go... We're not going back to green. The green flag has not flown, then, so... We've got another formation lap to go. We'll slow everybody down and get everybody bunched up. Whilst we do that, let's go back to Alex and Williams. We've dropped down out of the eSports Lounge here at Grove Williams F1 HQ. We are running out of fuel. The ah. the museum for an interview with Jack Keithley, about to get into the number five Williams eSports car. Uh, Jack, you've been making great progress so far. What is the aim then for this next couple of stints? Keep the car in one piece because there's a good chance we're getting the car to change the conditions. So a mix of that and dim traffic, anything can happen. Good, but good or bad. So keep the car in one piece and keep on progressing through the leaderboard. How long are you going to be in the car for now? Um, could have some changeable conditions out there on track as well. Is it going to be tough in terms of concentration over the next few stints? Uh, how long are you in for? I'm just in for a single double run, which is essentially 90 minutes. So it's not going to be too bad. It's going to go by. Single really double run? Quick, though they always do in these races what? when you're in the moment. And uh, yeah, you mentioned the changeable conditions. Just have to deal with it as it comes, really. Are you going to plan to save a little bit of fuel now? Uh, is that part of the plan to, to give you those strategic options moving forward? Or is it flat out all the way? I would love to say flat out all the way. That's the perfectly ideal situation. But no, we have to save a little bit. But... It's not a bad thing because that means the tyres in better condition later in the run and it just makes things a little bit easier um, driver-wise. How are they looking after you guys? You've got such a long race still to do. Are you getting some sleep in? Are you keeping hydrated? Are you getting some food in you? Yes, to everything. Um, got a lot of drinks and sleep. Well, I'll probably be sleeping right next to my rig, so the moment they wake me up, I'm in the car. And, uh, yeah, they've given us some great, great support overall with everything, even aside from just the driving so yeah we are ready for the whole event that's what i do i like to sleep next to my check ring out this beautiful if i have to wake uh, up early feel so good and uh, wish you this the best my baby luck, jack for your next it's my little baby sleeping next to me that is a very very cool place to be i, I don't imagine <laughs> uh, uh, need anything uh i don't think so uh, i think it's just me right now um charge fire one up no, no. Can I just, just do my thing yeah, here. A lot quicker than uh, <laughs> if he's driving that. Just doing his, my uh, thing. Just watching so a little bit of uh, a little bit of this. Uh, the two leaders there. That will be. But uh, this is starting the, here. Yeah, uh, Porsche Commander. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, I think everybody's watching um, this stuff, and it's just kind of like a bad time to stream. I don't think uh, you know. I need to also do better with LMP2 as well. So you know, it's, it's, it, it might as well combine two bad things together. You know, if you're gonna do one bad thing, you might as well do two bad things at the same time. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm trying not to like read into it. You know, too much. I'm sure it is fine. Can then go on the attack. Everybody's watching they did this. actually give BS competition. Uh, we were speculating <laughs> that they were one lap down. They have put them on the lead. So I'm, just, I'm just doing two so bad things at one time, and like we'll see if anybody's interested. Uh, I'm curious about, a bit, like I said, I was curious about driving there. this car today. Uh, so it does seem as though there is uh, an issue. So with we'll see. I've dropped down to, down to 3.3k now. So, uh, it looks like we're going to report this one. By the way, it's quite sunny. I may, uh, am I making a bad decision racing, racing two different cars? Bit. Probably. I was going to say, it looks like a, I should be doing lovely, Porsche, but uh, afternoon. I don't know. Can we go there as well? They I popped in to hang for a bit. I'm sure they oh, moved yeah, on to other things. Yeah, uh, oh, it's yeah. true. That's true. That's about how long I hang out yeah. too, typically. I mean, even when we yeah, I understand. Uh, last year, it was like, I think everybody's just oh, me. It's like that's, watching that's this. Bitterly cold, but yeah, you need and then I'm doing a. Then I'm also doing Magni Core, which is people don't like this track at all. Well, I mean, yeah, but surely it's like pretty cold where you live. Yeah, but it's also blue sky. Yeah, there is that. It's not kind of blowing Visible. a hoolie. Hoolie! Right, what have we got? Who's mo who's doing what uh, in our little boxes? As Jan van Oyer has changed his appearance a little bit, right there in the middle. He's but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Why has he done that? That's really weird, isn't it? Is he sleeping? Do you think? No. Under Throwing the jumper on there and has gone. Uh, gone it looks like a person. It, it, it does look spookily as if he's just under it, but I mean, I don't know how comfortable you'd be going uh, uh, and throwing that over and then sort of. Yeah, this. On. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, the the tr tr trifecta right, right now uh, for well. my decision making. I could have probably got a better stream. Of course, racing from the Porsche. But it's okay. You know, it's fine. Basically, the the way it works is that I. I, um, yeah, probably should have chosen a different track. I don't I really don't. I mean, even Jay, Jay was wondering if I had like, if I was doing the 24, you know, and, and now, so I think everybody's like excited. Like it's, it's, it hasn't been endurance season for a while. So everybody's like wanting to watch endurance racing. So like, you know, look at, which I get like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just feeling like. You know, this, this is like Doesn't a trough period. It's a trough period, I think. I guess. Or maybe maybe it's more representative of the real thing. You know what I mean? Like, just kind of... We're kind of just taking a couple step backwards. Steps backward, is what I meant to say. And uh, just kind of uh, figuring it out. I guess. I don't know. I don't really know. Got to move that up. I don't know. Yeah, I just seem kind of like a scrub too right now. Total scrubbage. Probably should have done ACC, but I don't know what else to do. It's like if I want to get to 4.5k, I've got to I got to grind my butt off. But it's like I'm kind of done with Daytona because everybody's freaking grinding it out of their mind, which sucks. Oh well, 
I don't know. It's, it'll it'll feel that way, yeah, before I adjust, yeah. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It's an emotional time right now. But, you know, I just gotta keep a smile on my face and pretend like it's not happening. I'm sure it'll come back around. It ebbs and flows. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe it won't come back around. Maybe I'm past my prime. As well. That's another thing. Like, maybe I had, a, like, a nice little... It's always hard, too. Like, when, when the kids go back to school, you know, as well, they're, they're officially, like, gone. A lot of my viewers are kids. So when school starts back up, it... They're busy. These kids get busy. But I probably shouldn't talk about it anymore. Just focusing on my path. Put in a quality lap. We are running out of fuel. Could break later there. Yeah, sports psychology. That's right. I know. I'm sure every. I'm, I'm sure every athlete, especially like endurance athletes. You know, like cycling or running or whatever. It's like no one cares about you, dude. And then you show up for those races, and then you're like, literally, like marathon runners. It's like got to be the worst. Imagine like practicing like all your heart out, and then you show up to these like thousand person events. And then you're just lost. You're just like nobody. You're just nobody out there. You're absolutely less, you're less than nobody. Even if you finish like top 20, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter. Just reset. Yeah, that'd be pretty uh, demoralizing, I'm sure, in that situation. But it's the same here, too, you know, essentially, like everybody's doing endurance. I can't do those, you know, so kind of so when endurance season comes around, it's like, yeah, so I just can't do those. It sounds fun, though. It'd be fun to do it with a bunch of friends. Kind of just tempted just to end the stream <laughs> right here. Maybe I should just do it. Two people. Yeah, I'm done. All right, on that note, I'm going to catch you all later. Thanks for coming in. Peace out.